Hey Brian, here's your 24 scale uh, 1950 Chevy pickup truck. Uh, the John Deere logo is on the door and the John Deere on the stake bed as well. Um, this one, uh, no opening doors on this one. Um, the mirrors, I have those. They are in the package. I didn't open them up. I uh, didn't figure I'd just leave them in the bag for now. They will be in the box and still in the package. Hood does open on this. To show the big 454. Oh, never mind. It's not a 454. Anyway, uh, show the uh, engine. And then also, what I went ahead and did on this, let's take the, uh, loosen these up. They wedge these in there. They usually put some kind of epoxy in there, I think. I went ahead and loosened those up so you can take these out if you want. I'll pull them out. And they're in pieces. You can see the back will just come off by itself. Or if you want, you can actually take these all the way out. Take a little bit of wiggling. They do fit tight. There we go. And there we go. So you can take those out as well. So you can just have this the flat or the pickup truck without the stakes to it. But anyway, um, the John Deere decals and everything on there. Um, advertising their new Model R 50 horsepower diesel tractor. Come and get it, boys. Anyway, the um, tailgate also drops on this. You see it's got the little chains uh, and the little uh, eyelets there that will actually let the uh, tailgate drop as well. Um, on this, uh, of course, with the air of the truck, uh, older uh vehicles use the um, warm white headlights and then also taillights in the rear. And you wanted a yellow flashing beacon on the roof, and you said something about a couple options. But anyway, I left this one on there the way it is. Uh, the camera probably doesn't show it very well, but there is some uh, silver painted around it as well. And I'm also going to send you this rooftop. I didn't want to attach it, just in case you didn't like it on there. Um, I figured, well, obviously, you know how to attach them. You've done it before. So uh, I'm going to send that with, you, with it as well. Uh, this one is uh, hooked to a battery pack. Uh, it was either store the battery in the bed or underneath somewhere, and you said just put it on a battery pack. So that's what we did. Uh, I'll go ahead and turn this on here. There's your warm white headlights. And you got the yellow flashing beacon on the roof. My light's right over top of the my workbench, so it doesn't show up too well, maybe. Uh, if you can see it flashing, a little bit of backdrop there, maybe see it. Um, and then your steady red tail lights on the rear. And like I said, I'll send uh, I'll send this beacon. I you can use some of that cement that you use on your other cars uh, to put this on and add that if you want to. Like I said, I don't know if you wanted. I thought it might look a little bit too big on there. Uh, like I said again, I'll just send it with it, and you can decide what you want to do with that. So I'll ship it with it off. Obviously, don't mess around and mess the paint up on the truck. So anyway, there you have it again. That's a 24 scale. Ertl makes this truck. They've got a few different versions of it out. Um, as far as the decals and stuff, I've already done one of these for a customer, so um, we want to get this one knocked out for you. So yeah, there you go. It uh, again, 19. There you go. It that sounded great, didn't it? Anyway, 1950 Chevy pickup truck, uh, John Deere uh, dealership model. So Brian, appreciate it, and uh, thanks again for the bill, man.